Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. And today we're going to talk about audits, all right? So a lot of times I hear, especially in the home business industry, the odds of getting audited, right? Like it's one in whatever, 1%. It's all that's well and good until you're that one, right? Now, with um, with the reduction in funding and staffing to the IRS, a lot more audits are being done by correspondence. But even still, and correspondence means they send you a letter, saying we want to see X, Y, Z, and then you send it to them. Now, even though it's happening more by correspondence, that doesn't mean that you just get to um, flake out and ignore the IRS. So I want to talk about some tips on how to handle yourself in an audit, all right? So um, the first thing is do not lie to the IRS. <laughs> okay, as simple as that might seem. Listen, you know, it's it's a the your burden is to substantiate all of your claims on your taxes. And so, if you start out by preparing all of your returns as if you knew for certain that this return is going to be audited, then prepare your return that way. That means you're only accessing credits that you really are entitled to um that you're entitled to. That means only claiming expenses that really are tax tax deductible expenses. That's what that means. You're really telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth on your taxes. So number one is to not lie to the IRS. Number two, don't be rude or uncooperative with the process. Um, You know what? The auditors are doing their jobs. Plain and simple. There is something that has happened that has sparked something that says, hey, to the IRS, it says, hey, we need to check something out here. You know, as in the home business industry, we talk about that, you know, that operating at a loss, you know, for more than three years. That is something that signals to the IRS that there's something not right here. So don't be rude and unprofessional to them because they have a job to do. Because when you do that, you pretty much tick people off. And so while they be just may be checking some stuff out, listen, um, you really don't want to tick off the person who has your government life in the palm of their hands. You just don't want to even do that, okay? So even though you might not like the process, even though you might be ticked that your number is up, the last thing you want to do is to really tick them off, okay? Number three, I need for you to be just like your kid and don't say anything unless they specifically ask you. One of the things that gets people in worse trouble is giving way more information than what the IRS is asking for. Because the more you talk, the more that they learn about you and discern about you and go, hmm, maybe there's something more, okay? So just like, you know how you tell your kid to do something, but there's other stuff and you expect them to do other stuff, but they really just do that one thing, this is the time where you need to take a tip. Okay. So answer the question specifically asked. Don't give any more or any less. If they say, did you go to such and such on this date? Yes or no. Right. So you have to make sure that you are um, paying attention and definitely just respond to what they ask you. Don't give no additional information unless they ask for additional information. OK, it's like, you know, how you, you your kids come home from school. And you're like, how was your day? Good. Did you learn anything? No. <laughs> right. So while you're you're expecting to get more out of them, they give those one or two word answers. Hey, that's what you got to be. Answer the question directly. All right. The next thing is to make sure that you um, make copies of whatever it is that they want from you. So if they want um, you just don't give original documents, you make copies, you keep the originals for yourself. OK, because once that original is lost, dude, it's lost. And it's not saying that the IRS will actually lose anything. But listen, you have to protect yourself. Right. 
So definitely make copies of anything that they ask for. Do not send original documents because if it gets lost, then it's gone. And then you have no way of proving yourself innocent for whatever their claims are. Nine times out of 10, there's something there for enough for them to say that you're guilty of something. So if you lose your documentation, then you have no way of proving your innocence. Okay. So yeah, definitely make copies. And the last thing is this. If you have to appear before an auditor, do not, under any circumstances, go alone, okay? Because like I said, the majority of audits are done by correspondence audits. But if you have to go to the office, if they call you into the office, or if they do a field audit, that's when they come to your house or your place of business, you want to make sure that you have representation, whether it is a tax attorney or an enrolled agent like myself or your CPA, you want to make sure that you have somebody that is there um, that deals with this, that knows how to deal with the IRS helping you in this situation because it's already enough for you. Being audited is already a, a scary situation. Let's be honest, right? You know, I don't want people to sit there and think, oh, it's just an audit. No, an audit is a very serious thing, okay? And the IRS win rate when it comes down to audits is like 85, 90%, meaning that the taxpayer usually winds up paying more in taxes, and that usually comes with penalties and interest. So don't sit there and think that being audited is just you know, whatever. No, it's not par for the course and it's not time for you to screw around and be flippant with the government, okay? Because the fact is, the government won't they money. And if they feel like you're, un if you have, well, I won't say they feel like, if you have given them reason to believe that you are under-reporting your income or you're, um, over, you're over-reporting, you're taking too many expenses or something like that, or like I said, if you're continually operating a loss, a business at a loss every year, that is, that gives the IRS reason to say, there's something that's not right here. We need to check it out. So if in the beginning, if you prepare every return as if it is going to be audited, that is your best course of action to begin with. Just don't lie on your taxes, right? I had a young lady call me and she's like, I think the IRS is out to get me. I've been audited two years in a row. I was like, now, wait a minute. Let's see here. And so then I get her tax returns and oh my gosh. So you've claimed this credit, this credit, you've got, you claim enough, enough expenses to get all of your tax, your, your money back in a tax refund. And you've done that two or three years in a row. Um, yeah, they're coming for you because there's something about this that isn't right. And if you can't substantiate what you have put into your tax return, guess what? You will pay. You will be writing the check to the IRS and it will come with penalties and interest. All right. But, you know, the main thing is this. Just know that you don't have to go through an audit alone. You can you can hire help. OK, this is not free. You can hire help to help you respond with an audit. If audit is something that you're concerned about when you are um, filing taxes, there is audit insurance where where you can actually pay an additional fee that if that particular return is re that particular return, that one is audited, then there will be someone to help you deal with the IRS. OK. So that's, um, that's it for, t you know, um, for today, you guys, you know, like I said, people want to talk about the odds of being audited. I really cannot stand that because like I said, it's real cute until bingo is your turn. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, nine o'clock ish, and you can come in here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. And if you need to book a consult, you can reach me at www.homebiztaxchat.com. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.